Welcome to this Object 704 replay on Overlord. The Object 704 here is played by Polestar Blue from 4Star. And Polestar is basically a player that came across my channel. And he looked at all the videos and he said he liked them very much. And then he asked me the question, can I send you one of my replays? Or do you only feature like really nice high skill Unicom replays? And I said... Yeah, sure. You you can send me a replay. I mean, the only question that I ask when people send me replays is that it uh, is just an ace tanker badge, at least. Because, um, yeah, while first class badges can be a lot of fun to look at, uh, yeah, generally ace tankers uh, for gas replays is the standard. And so he did. Uh, so this is obviously an ace tanker in the 704. And the 704, the Russian tier 9 original Doom Cannon uh, BL-10 gun. Um, myself, I played this tank when it was still the end of the line TD for the Russians. Uh, same for the Yak Tiger. So I had a lot of uh, XP gathered on them. Uh, pretty much enough to uh, almost unlock the tier 10s. But since uh, I had them before they were switched to top uh, to tier 9 TDs instead of being top tiers anymore, I could actually freely convert all that XP that I gathered on them, so that's what I foolishly did. Uh, so they are still the top TDs uh, for me in this line for both the Russian and the German. I haven't continued on to the Jagdpanzer E100 or the Object 268. Um, but also I haven't played these TDs I think in 3 or 4 years. Uh, but Looking at this replay, maybe I really should again, because uh, uh, the thing not only looks quite sexy, the gun is also really, really good, if it hits. Um, uh, while that is more of a problem on the actual ISU, it can also happen on this tank, but it's not happening for Paul Star Blue. So far, 1900 damage already and one kill, so... not too shabby a start to the match. He is backed up by an SD... Uh, one, which is really nice heavy to have you back you up because that thing has got really good armor as well. And then we see this STA-1, uh, which is outside of spotting range um, of Polestar Blue. Someone else is spotting him, and Polestar Blue decides to start and move up. And at this point in the replay, um, I realized something funny. I mean, I haven't checked uh, the actual damage of the RT in this match but I was thinking why isn't the RT focusing, uh, focusing him in this match because he's completely in the open and he might be a Russian uh, uh, armored TD but still he can do some damage to this guy so I haven't actually checked the gun again. I also thought well Maybe I'm just used to getting focused by Artie all the time because I would never put myself in this TD in this position because I would just get shot at by Artie all the time. But for Polestar Blue, it works out. Um, and I mean, no offense to him, especially. I mean, but he, he blends in really nice with all the other players um, in general with his W and 8 rating. So it doesn't make him stand out. So he, he can actually do some really interesting plays with the, these tanks um, that probably someone else couldn't. I mean, obviously, as I said, I haven't checked the RT damage to It might as well that that guy was botting the whole match. But it was just something I, it dawned on me when I first watched this replay. Um, in the meantime, Polestar blew up to 3 kills and 4,500 damage. So that is what this TD does best. Um, Point gun at enemy, shoot, kill enemy. But unfortunately, he receives a shot by the E75 in the side here. Uh, the FC M50 T on his team, which is the best player, gets hammered by the enemy team. He goes to help and gets his fourth kill. FC M luckily still alive. I mean, that's always good. Um, and he moves up. So let's see what we can do. E75 is still there. Which, I mean, if he stays there, all the better for Paul Star Blue, obviously. Um, E75 does stay there, so 
Polestar put a really nice round into him. 777 damage. Nice rounded uh, number. So, yeah. Tries to get the second one off, but the E75 retreats. So he now looks at this Yak Panther 2, who puts a really nice shot into him, but he puts the finishing shot into the Yak Panther 2, and then it's back to E75 with the attention. So E75 is coming out. Also takes aim, and that's a very expensive tracking round. Um, I guess 200 and uh, what? 68 penetration was not enough to penetrate the side of the E75 there. Um, 1375 obviously doesn't have enough penetration or wasn't shooting the right position to actually get through Paul Star's armor. So all of it balances out in the end, I guess. Um, E75 still there. And Paul Star gets the chance to kill him. And now there's only Artie left. And seeing that the T25. Two says, uh, fuck you, Arty. I imagine that the Arty was actually active this match. Um, we could see in the after battle results. But Wallstar, at this point, asks his team, please can I get 8 kills? Because that would be a really nice medal. And the ST1 is actually a good guy, ST1. And he says, affirmative. So... The other TDs didn't say anything, but then again, they're out of range. So Polestar Blue goes in and tries to see if he can get the 8th kill for this match. So, let's see if he can. I mean, obviously the Arty is going to shot a gun him in the face, but... This is still Russia, so Arty only does 111 damage on the front of this TD. I mean, yeah, it, it is a really nice vehicle still. Um... It's actually one of the better static gun TDs that you can have in this game because it's got a really nice gun. It's got pretty okay-ish armor still. Um, and it looks really cool. So, yeah. I mean, obviously, as I said earlier, Ace Tanker, he did over 7,000 damage this match, which is really, really good. He also got the Radley Walters for the 8 kills. So that's why he wanted 8 kills. And the high caliber, obviously. As well as a Top Gun for more than 6 kills, but if you get a rat, at least then the Top Gun comes sort of with it. It's more of a package deal. So yeah, I mean, really nice result. Uh, it was good to see this thing in action again. Um, it reminded me that I should really actually try and pick up mine again. Maybe. I mean, the 268 is definitely not worth it anymore in the current game meta, but this one is still... A lot of fun it seems and um, from when I encounter them all the time they still have their cling on camo so that could come in handy but yeah hope you enjoyed this replay if you did feel free to rate it subscribe to the channel and see you guys next time